Myanmar, home to mangrove forests, mahogany, and the endangered Bengal tiger, is ranked third on the list of regions most at risk of severe deforestation. China, a major trading hub, imports a massive amount of raw materials to supply the country's exports. The China-Myanmar border has served as a gateway for timber trade since the 1980s. In the 2000s, the global community vocalized three concerns about this trade and deforestation. Ethnic minority groups in Myanmar were autonomously controlling the border with China. These groups were selling logs to China through the land border to earn money and buy arms. National conflict had weakened Myanmar's forest governance capacity. Even though both sides were trying to curb illegal timber trade, the lack of coordination between China and Myanmar made any effort ineffective. When the Myanmar government banned log exports in 2014, the UK Department for International Development partnered with the Chinese government and GEI to promote China-Myanmar forest cooperation. We wanted to know, were there any workable mechanisms for China and Myanmar to create a mutual legality agreement? At the beginning, most of the focus was on understanding and explaining the situation. There needed to be more international coordination. We hired an undercover investigator to research the supply chain of unsustainable timber in Myanmar. We also brought Chinese officials to the border to see for themselves. We arranged a total of seven bilateral dialogues. These meetings brought together high-level officials from China and Myanmar to communicate, explain, and ultimately strategize about how to cooperate in the future. In 2015 and 2017, MOUs officially set the foundation for both sides to work together on sustainable timber trade. Bilateral cooperation is integral to the future health of Myanmar's forests.